Hey, today I'm going to be making New England clam chowder with fresh clams. So here are the clams. You'll need four pounds of fresh clams, and these are little neck clams. And I've already rinsed these off, but you want to take them and just rinse them off like this to get the sand off of them. And you want to make sure that they're all closed like this. And if they're open at all, you should just throw them out because they're not good. So once they're all rinsed, we'll take them over to the stove. And in here, I have two cups of water, just water. And you want to turn it on until it's boiling. And once it's boiling, we'll add the clams. So now that the water is boiling, I have my clams and a slotted spoon, and I'm just going to pick them up and carefully put them in the water because you don't want the shells to break. So just carefully put them in there. And then once they're all in there, I'm going to turn down the heat a little bit. Uh, right now it's on high. I'm going to turn it down to about medium or maybe medium high and let them cook for eight to 10 minutes and you should see that the clams will start to open up and it'll look kind of foamy in there and the foam will want to rise up to the top. Um, but in about eight to 10 minutes, it'll be done. Here's what it looks like now that all of the clams are in there. And as you can see, the water isn't covering all of them, but it will cook just like this. It's been about 10 minutes, so I'm going to turn off the heat and take out the clams with this slotted spoon and just put them into a bowl. And you want to keep this uh, liquid here that the clams were cooking in because we'll need it later. And you can see most of the clams are open a lot, which is what we want. Now I have all of the clams in the bowl, and this is our clam juice that's left over, so just leave it right there. We'll use it later. And we'll take these over to the sink, and we're going to uh, let these cool a little bit. And once they've cooled off, um, we're going to pick them up and we'll pull out the clams. And I just, when I do it, I like to just throw the shells in a bowl to get rid of them later. It's just easier. And take the clam and put them uh, in a bowl. And before you take, when you take them out, um, I would recommend rinsing them off again just to make sure we got off uh, any other sand that could have been on here. The clams have cooled. So you just pick one up and make sure you wash your hands before, uh, but just you take the clam and you can just pull it out like that. And I just have a bowl, it's just easier to throw the shells in there. And then you just rinse off the clam and just put it in a bowl. Uh, so again, I'm just picking this up, taking it out, and then rinsing it off. So, uh, and some of them, as you're cooking, it just falls out and they'll be in the bottom of the bowl. Um, so you just repeat that for all of the clams. And like I had said, if any of them did not open, just get rid of them. Just to show you, here are two clams that didn't open. This opened a little bit, um, and this one barely, but these ones I'm not going to be using. So here are all of the clams now that they've been rinsed off. So I'm just going to take them on the cutting board and I know this probably isn't the right knife but it's just the one I usually use for this. So I'm just going to chop this up and it doesn't have to look good or be even or anything. You just want to cut them up into little pieces. Here are all of the clams cut up. So they're all in a bunch of little pieces. I'm just going to put those to the side and uh, now we want to do a work on the clam juice. So what I have here is it's a measuring cup. It's a four cup one. And I just took a paper towel and a rubber band and just put it around the top because we're going to pour the clam juice into the measuring cup and this will catch um, the sand uh, that's left inside the clam juice. So because it can drip a bit, I'm just going to put it in the sink and get the pot and I'm just pouring it right into the measuring cup. There's probably 
a better way to do this, but this is the way that I found that works, so this is what I do. And the paper towel will absorb some of it, but we only need to have two cups of it left. So if you can see that sand that's on top of there, that's all sand that would have been in our soup, in our chowder, so got all of that. I just took off the paper towel and just got rid of it. And as you can see, there's about uh, two and a half cups of liquid and we only need two cups. So you can just dump whatever extra you have and just make sure that you keep the two cups of clam juice. Here I have the same pot which I washed out after finishing up the clams. Um, and in here I have a tablespoon of butter which I'm melting on medium to medium high. And um, I have here four slices of bacon that I've cut up into little pieces. So I'll just put those right in here. Of course, it's not sizzling yet. <laughs> but once it starts cooking, we're going to cook it for about eight minutes. The bacon has been cooking, and I'm turning down the heat a little bit. And now I'm going to add celery and onion. And this is two celery pieces or sticks uh, chopped and then I have one medium onion. So we'll just stir that and let that cook for two minutes. It's been two minutes and the onions and the celery have been cooking a bit so and the onions are more translucent. So I'm going to add the two cups of clam juice, then the clams cut up. Now I'm going to add a potato, and this is two potatoes, this is russet potato, um, cut up into pieces like this. You can do a little smaller if you want. And um, this is two, I'd say medium to larger potatoes uh, that I have here. And then I'm just gonna stir that a bit. Okay, and then next I'm going to add, this is three quarter cup of half and half. So pour that in. Okay, and stir that. And then I have uh, salt and pepper, and you just salt and pepper to taste. So I'm just going to add some in, but do however much you like. And you can always add more later or to your own bowl if you wanted. Um, and then I have dried parsley, and it's one tablespoon. So we'll pour that in. Stir that. And I'm going to let this heat back up uh, covered. And I mean, watch it, it depends on your stove, but I'll have it at about medium, maybe medium low once it starts to heat up more. And you want it to cook for about 20 to 25 minutes because we want the potatoes to get softer. It's been about 20 minutes and as it was cooking, I just watched the soup to see that it wasn't boiling too much and turned the heat down accordingly. So I'm going to take off the lid and just stir it around so you can see it's all been cooking there. And I'm going to now add two cups of heavy cream. So I'll pour that in. Get that all out. Okay, and stir. And then in this cup, I have four tablespoons of cornstarch and four tablespoons of water. And I just mixed it up, and this is going to thicken the chowder. So I'll just pour that in. Okay. And stir it. And I'm going to put the lid back on. And 
I'm going to cook it until it reaches a boil. So I'll turn my heat up a little bit to around medium. And uh, just wait until it, or a little lower, until it gets to a boil. And uh, it's only been about a couple of minutes, but as you can see, it's already bubbling. So the chowder is done. Here is the finished chowder. So you can see it thickened up a bit and looks good. And we have oyster crackers to have with this. And I hope that you give this recipe a try. And thanks for watching. Bye.